It is the time of the year, one of the most anticipated event ng Binibining Pilipinas 2024 or in general ng Binibining Pilipinas pageant ay ang Parade of Beauties. Dito makikita natin sila in swimsuit and meron silang headdress, beautiful flowers and every year ginaganap talaga to. Hindi talaga to pwedeng kalimutan at bawala sa activities or events or sa lineup ng schedule ng Binibining Pilipinas. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Roderick Cruz of Bala and today's video, pag-usapan nga natin yung mga standout para sa Binibining Pilipinas Parade of Beauties na ginanap nga kahapon, June 23, 2024. Kaya nga nasabi ko kanina, every year ginaganap talaga to at hindi to talaga pwedeng makalimutan o mawala sa activities ng Binibining Pilipinas Beauty Pageant. In general, dito makikita natin sila daylight. Um, wala silang lights na pwedeng makover kung ano mga mga flaws. Talaga ang makikita natin dito kung sino yung maganda especially after the parade of beauties magpe-present sila mag-introduce sila ang sarili nila dito tayo magbe-base kung sino yung maganda ito yung para sa akin ay yung mga magaganda na standouts talaga sa Binibining Pilipinas parade of beauties well again hindi nga siya sa labas dahil wala tayong video and nakuha natin yung videos sa Binibining Pilipinas Instagram account and doon tayo magbe-base kung sino yung mga magaganda talaga uh, magaganda facially overall may impact uh, meron tayong makikita kita dito sa video na to na hindi masyadong ganong ka-ready body-wise. Hindi sila ganun ka-prepared. Um, but I included them because I really trust na mag improve pa sila. Um, simulan muna natin kay Miss Tagig. I think that she is a little bit of petite but she is beautiful. Maganda yung muka. Maganda yung katawan. Although I think that she's not that tall but who cares. Kalaokan is more of talagang voluptuous. So hindi siya ganun ka-slim. Hindi siya ganun ka-sexy but in general terms of sexiness. She has this sex up. Nga lang talaga is, nalalakyan ako sa kanyang lower part of the body, which is from the hips to the legs. But she is undeniably gorgeous. Negros Occidental is the next. She is, again, sabi ko nga before, sa aking previous videos, para siyang morena version ni Dindi Pajares. So, she has this beautiful smile. Filipinang Pilipina. Ang maaliwalas yung dating niya. Um, yeah. So, I think that she is standout para sa akin. The next one is Pasig City. So, Pasig City, I I'm not sure if she is one of the favorite among other beauty pageant bloggers, but I think that she is cute. She's beautiful. Kalumpit Bulacan is the next. I think that she has this aura na parang mahiyain, na parang reserved, na parang hindi ko maintindihan ko ano yung nararamdaman ko every time I see her in the video. I think that parang siyang mahiyain, na parang aloof, na I don't know, but I think that she is beautiful. She's sexy. And the last one is Miss Jen. General Santos. I think she has the looks. She has the body. She has beautiful long legs, beautiful torso, beautiful in general, beautiful PC. Um, so these are the ladies na talagang stand out. And I think that if we will categorize their beauties, I think they are the safe beauties. Hindi mo siya pwedeng sabihin na uh, Miss International Prototype or Miss Globe Prototype. Wala sa oras nila yung prototype ng beauty ng Miss International or Miss Globe, but they have their unique beauty. So, yun lang ang sinasabi ko. Hindi ko sinasabi na hindi sila pang Miss Globe or pang Miss International because they are not prototype. Or yung beauty nila is not prototype. Um, it could be something else, but I believe that they're equally beautiful. Ito naman yung mga beauties na pupwedeng pang International, pupwedeng pang Miss Globe. So, they have this parang prepared na beauty. I mean, parang ready sila. Kumbaga, ready sila ipadala either Miss International and Miss Globe in general. Um, first in the list is Miss Bulacan. I think that she is not so tall. She is not too short. But I think that she has this intelligence. Napanood naman natin yung kanyang interview video uh, and I think that or the get to know video. I think that she has this beautiful aura. Um, I think that pang international din naman yung beauty niya. Next one is Miss uh, Mandaluyong. So Mandaluyong is a repeater. So I think she joined 2021 or 2022. Malinis yung kanyang look. She is more of like wedding Miss Glow or pwede Miss International. 
dahil malinis tingnan. Zambales is the next. I think that she has this artistahin, modeless, beautiful teenager. Para siyang yung teenager na talagang nag-bloom pa lang or kaka-bloom pa lang na teenager. She's beautiful. She's another mestiza or one of the mestiza or beautiful mestizas in Binibining Pilipinas 2024. The next is isa sa paborito ko din talaga na hindi ko masyadong makategorize kung pang international ba siya or pang globe but I think that her credentials speaking five languages she is a passerella trainer and also she is a model and I'm not really sure about her advocacy but she is beautiful undeniably beautiful and unique yung beauty niya she has a strong chance last but not the least para sa mga either globe or pinibining Pilipinas international is Miss Baguio so she has this beauty as well na hindi mo pwedeng sabihin globe or international but it could be good for any of the titles Baguio is cute I have this feeling na mag-excel siya comes coronation night she has this likable aura beautiful face beautiful small dimples she is not as sexy as the other candidate hindi siya ganun ka well prepared physique wise or body wise but I think that in time there's less time needed to improve compared sa ibang girls na i-mention ko later ito naman yung mga girls na prototype ng binibining Pilipinas globe sila yung mga tipong pupwedeng sa Miss Globe kasi more of like on the sexy side more on like a Filipina sexy kind of aura of binibining Pilipinas prototype first on the list is Los Baños so Los Baños is parang Latina na parang Filipina na parang basta um, maganda yung bukas ng face niya and nakita ko din yung ibang mga videos na talagang may dating siya may ganda siya um, she could be a binibining Pilipinas globe but of course it still depends on how she will perform comes coronation night ng binibining Pilipinas next one is Bacolod Bacolod is I think um, she has this beautiful sexy figure um, she has this beautiful legs beautiful physique beautiful proportion body I think that she is going to be a hit for Miss Globe but still again it depends on how she will perform comes coronation night ng binibining Pilipinas next is Kalayaan Laguna Kalayaan Laguna is more of parang magpifears pwede rin siyang pang Miss Universe pwede rin siyang pang Miss World but then again we are talking about binibining Pilipinas so she has this beautiful Miss Globe aura she could be a hit para sa Miss Globe but again who am I hindi ako pwedeng mag judge hindi ko pwedeng sabihin or hindi ko kayang hulaan ko ng mangyayari it still depends on how she will perform sa coronation ng binibining Pilipinas next is walang doubt na talagang pang Miss Globe siya so she has this beautiful Filipina sexy there's a bit of like flirtiness yeah so parang Filipina Filipina sexy slim super slim but super sexy and she has this beautiful palaban aura so I think that Abra is very perfect para sa Miss Globe beauty pageant ito naman yung mga beauties na pang Miss International so sila yung talagang makikita natin na facially Miss International talagang facially yun talaga yung trademark ng Miss International makikita natin talaga na super ganda ng mukha manika yung mukha first natin is Miss Ormok Ormok is very very beautiful I just really cannot deny or ignore her beauty although otherwise to be honest if you will look at her figure hindi siya ganun ka prepared I think that if Binibining Pilipinas will crown her as Binibining Pilipinas International she really need to work on her body Um, just like what I said we're not body shaming but again if we are going to send someone for international beauty pageant of course we don't want to risk the price of Binibining Pilipinas this year is huge it's huge amount of money it's I think a million pesos so it's not a joke para pumili lang ng someone na risky to send na if they will assess their body or her body ako kakayanin niyang mag-improve in, in, in time na kailangan niya I think that she is beautiful she is intelligent a very beautiful face but again nga yung body hindi ganun kaganda yung body but let's see next is Pampanga so Pampanga is red ready siya she used to model here in Dubai and she has this beautiful PC right so she has this beautiful face as well kung anong makeup yung gawin sa kanya she can be modelless she can be fierce she can be sweet and overall she has this beautiful doll like malinis tingnan na beauty na pumapatok sa Miss International so I think that Pampanga is one of the strongest para sa akin Batanga City is the next I think that again hindi siya paborito na marami um, I see something in her I just really don't know how intelligent she is but I think that overall um, she has this beautiful frame of the body she has this 
beautiful face as well. Long neck. Siya yung pag inayusan mo ng long curly hair, straight, big curl. She is transformable. She has this beautiful chameleon beauty. Next is Tarlac. So Tarlac is beautiful mestiza. Although symmetrically, I think face-wise, hindi ganun ka symmetric yung kanyang face. Pag nagkamali ng konti sa makeup, I think she look a little bit different or mas matataoban siya na ibang mas ibang beauties. I'm not gonna say anything else but yeah, she is beautiful but I think konting ingat lang sa makeup kasi nagmumukha siyang something. Um, I think that they need to practice a perfect makeup for her. I'm just so sorry for the noise but there's a lot of noise outside and I don't have much time to do this. The next is Pila Laguna. So Pila Laguna is beautiful facially. She has this undeniably beautiful face but again, the same as Miss Ormok, she has not so prepared body. If ever she is going to really prepare and looking forward for the crown, I think that this time around, she should consider looking after her body. She has a credential as a dentist, beautiful face, but again, yun nga, kulang sa body. Hindi mo siya pwedeng ilaban international as of now, but she has a potential. And if ever pipiliin siya, she really need to work on her body. That's that's all I can say. And probably communication skills wise. Last but not least is Lapu Lapu City Cebu. I think that she is the most prepared. If I said that um, Miss Abra is the perfect for Miss Globe, Miss Lapu Lapu City is I think the perfect fit para sa Miss International. She has the most ready body, facially beautiful, intelligence wise she is and I think that she just really need to be consistent. So if the stars will align, comes coronation ay ng Binibining Pilipinas, I think there's a strong chance na siya ay maging Bini Bini Pilipinas International. But again, this is just a standout. Okay, so this is not my personal favorite pa. Para sa Bini Bini Pilipinas, this is just for the parade of beauties. So this is it. This is the end of this video and I hope you like this video and let me know kung sino para sa inyo yung mga standouts and um, kikitakitakits para sa susunod kong videos. Bye-bye!